people. Fred, we were just talking about missing children and so forth, and mm -hmm. we unfortunately were not able to get the audio of our guest, but I think she's ready to go when we've got that technical difficulty fixed in this day of uh, doing interviews by Skype. That happens sometimes. So yeah. let's check in and see if Natalie Wilson, who's co-founder of the Black and Missing uh, Foundation, is with us. Can you hear us, uh, Natalie? Yes, I can hear you. There I'm we go. Here. Wonderful, right. thank in, you. We're in business here. Uh, first, please tell us about uh, your organization, uh, why it was formed, and the goals that you're seeking to achieve. Sure. The Black and Missing Foundation is a nonprofit organization geared towards finding missing people of color. It was started in May of 2018 because there was a young lady by the name of Tamika Houston who went missing from Spartanburg, South Carolina, and we read how her family struggled to get any type of media coverage and her aunt was in media relations. So my sister-in-law and I, Derricka Wilson, we decided to do some research. Um, and at the time, 30% of all persons missing were of color. That number has grown to 40%. And we said, why not us? I'm in media relations, Derricka is in law enforcement, and those are the two critical professions needed to find and bring awareness to our missing. So you have a special day planned for this Sunday. Please tell us more about it. Sure, so Sunday marks our 12th year anniversary and we have a number of things planned. We are hosting a food drive in the District of Columbia where we are providing food for 200 families, food and essentials, because there's such a need in our communities. Also on Monday, which is National Missing Children's Day, we are hosting a discussion, a Zoom discussion on sex trafficking. Even though it's a pandemic, so many of our children are disappearing because they're meeting predators online and they are meeting up with them and disappearing. So we have to be mindful that this issue still exists. Our children continue to disappear. Well, we all know that tragedy doesn't take a holiday. Uh, COVID-19 just adds more heartache uh, to the folks already suffering from the struggle of a missing family member, the agony of knowing what happened to them or not knowing. How does your organization help on a day-to-day -day basis with them? So on a day-to-day -day basis, when we are contacted by a family, one, we do our research and there must be a, a missing person's profile filed with law enforcement and we double check that. If there isn't one, we do coach them with working with law enforcement. We do utilize our social media platform to get the profiles out pretty quickly because we can't wait on the news cycle. We have to get this information in, out instantaneously because time is of the essence. Um, we also help families with burial services. Sadly, a number of people, when they're found, they are deceased and families need our help in burying them. Um, we help with um, flyer distribution, creating flyers and financial assistance because many times these families utilize all of their resources, all of their finances to find their individual. Now, if our viewers can help, how can they reach out to the Black and Missing Foundation? Um, so they can reach us by visiting BAMFI.org. That's the Black and Missing Foundation, Inc. Dot org. And again, we need eyes and ears because we can't do this work by ourselves. It takes all of us, law enforcement, the media, and our community. And we know that there's a sense of distrust with law enforcement and the community. So we have an anonymous tip line. If anyone has any information about a missing person, because these are missing mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, children, we want them to come forward with information. All right, Natalie Wilson, co-founder of the Black and Missing Foundation, wishing you much success Sunday, Monday, and beyond. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me, and you all be safe. You, you, you too. 